In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to set up variable price barcode parser to use with this label here. And to get started, we need the app called variable price barcode parser. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay. And so you see how mine says that configuration is complete and that app is ready for use. And to have that message in there, uh, to say that it's complete and ready for use, I would want to go into settings. And in settings, I would hit accessibility. And in accessibility, I would choose, uh, okay. I would choose to turn on the, see how mine says turn on, uh, it's on for variable price barcode parser. Make sure yours is on as well. Um, and so that's turned on. And then the message says that the variable price barcode parser is ready for use. And then I would use um, the inventory to set up an item that corresponds to this uh, item here. And to test if I already have this item, I'm just going to use this barcode here. I'm going to put in, uh, I'm just going to search for 211232. Right, so that's six digits and I don't have that number so we'll go ahead and add new add item uh, we'll call it a a r r a c h e r a all right and we're going to make it variable okay and in product code we're going to say that it is two one one two three two like that so variable two one one two three two or we can go ahead and set this up as per unit if we're doing per unit then it needs to be um 1099 per unit and item unit needs to be lb right so we got this item here and now we go to register and I'm using a uh, barcode scanner. Um, let me just zoom out a little bit here. So I'm using a barcode scanner from Clover that I bought from Clover and it came from Clover. It cannot be from Amazon that matches the same model. It has to come from Clover, okay? And so when it does, I'll just go ahead and scan your barcode here. And um, there it is, uh, 3638 and 3.31 pounds um, you can see that and so that uh, works and the way to verify if your barcode scanner is the problem is to use this camera here like you can click on this camera and it turns on the camera and then you can just scan this uh, barcode this way and you know, you'd, you'd get this result. And if it works with the, the camera, then you need to update your barcode scanner to make sure that it's bought from Clover and not from any other place that matches that model even. Thank you.